Hello everyone. Uh, I am here to discuss question number 5.6 of work energy power NCRT solution, right? So you need to underline. Underline here. Question is what? Question. Try to read read the question at first. Before doing any physics question, you have to read it, read it clearly and carefully. Underline the correct alternative. When a when a conservative uh, conservative force does positive work on a body. The potential energy of the body increase, decrease, or remain unaltered. So need we need to solve this. So tell me, conservative force. And what is the relation between conservative force and the potential energy? So as we know that change in potential energy, change in potential energy. Is equal to negative of work done by conservative force. We have already done this in the theory theory section. Change in change in potential energy potential energy is equal to negative of work done by conservative force. Conservative force. So this statement is very important. You always remember because there will be a lots of helpful. Okay. So this is very important. Uh, okay. Now in question, when a conservative force does positive work, it means that work done by conservative force is positive. So if it is positive, it means that change in potential energy is your minus pos minus into positive. It means that totally negative. So work done. By uh, when a conservative force does positive work on a body, then the potential energy of the body definitely, if change in potential energy is negative, finally negative, change in potential energy is negative. Change in potential energy is negative. It means, it means, uh, potential energy decreases. Potential energy decreases. I hope you have understood. So our correct answer is, our correct answer is decreases. I hope you have understood. Now let us let us discuss discuss uh, about uh, this question uh, second part second part that is B. Okay. Now B, what uh, what they are telling in B. Work done by a body against a friction is always the result in a loss of kinetic energy or potential energy. So let us consider there is an object and it is moving. So and a force is being applied here. Force is being applied here. An object is moving. An object is moving. So object has kinetic energy or potential energy when it is moving. So when it is moving, so it has some what uh, kinetic energy that is half mv square now tell me if a uh, object is moving so it has to overcome overcome friction overcome frictional force overcome frictional force yes or no so which energy will overcome the friction force by the expense of kinetic energy so our correct answer will be kinetic energy so our correct answer will be kinetic energy i hope you have understood this correct answer is your b correct answer is your kinetic energy now let us discuss about c the rate of change of total momentum of many particle of a system is proportional to the external force or sum of the internal force so let us change rate of change of momentum as we know that newton's second law rate of change of momentum is equal to force okay now we will talk about the system see here let us consider there is a uh, mm, mm, trolley moving here and a boy is sitting here and this trolley is moving with the 10 meter per second if boy will apply a force on this trolley any force any type of force so will there will be any change no change at all no change at all why because if boy is sitting on itself, so it is not acting an externally force. So no change in, uh, change in uh, at all in velocity or 
acceleration it means that no momentum will be changed no momentum will change yes now in the same case if if boy just uh, come come down and push externally push externally externally boy is applying a force so if a boy is applying a force so suppose it was earlier 10 meter per second so after that what will happen after that it will become 10 uh, more than 10 plus meter per second it means that momentum is changing yes or no momentum is changing so whenever there is a change in a momentum of system then it means that external force is being applied earlier what happened a boy is the part of the system see here a boy is the part of the system so if it is part of the system so internally if they are applying a force on each other no change will happen but if any external force will be applied then there will be a change in happen okay so in c what uh, what they are asking the rate of change of a total momentum of many particle of a system is proportional to external force or some of the internal force so definitely you need to write here um, you need to write here external force no internal force will act for the rate of change of momentum i hope you have understood now right now uh, now it's uh, next next part of the question is question number uh, question number d the inel inelastic question, uh, collision of a two um, body the quantity which do not change after the collision are total kinetic energy total linear momentum total energy of the system so if you are talking about inelastic collision inelastic collision collision so kinetic energy will decrease but what will not change so first of all linear momentum will not change linear momentum will not change either it is your either it is your um, elastic or inelastic for el elastic or inelastic and total energy total energy of system of two body will never change system of two bodies will not change so both not change so we are getting multiple options that is total energy as well as total linear momentum so these two answer will be this two answer will be the correct one i hope you have understood let's uh, thank you everyone